course. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Patman. And I'm coming at you with yet another headset video. Now, if you guys have seen my other videos, I've previously done stuff on the Astro A50s and the Turtle Beach's 500Xs uh, for Xbox One. I had the Halo Astros, had a bad experience with them, and the Turtle Beaches were a lot better. But for $200, I was left wanting more. Um, the sound on those Turtle Beaches, the 500X, they were good, but the A50 blew it out the water. And uh, the, the comfiness, I don't, I don't know if that's a word, the comfiness of the A50 definitely is almost rivaled by none. Uh, the Turtle Beaches are, are way less comfortable than the Astro, so I'll give it that. But mic quality is awful on the A50s. For me, it was was awful on the A50s compared to the 500Xs. All my buddies said it sounded hell of a lot better. But now, I'm bringing you another headset that, to me, beats both of those at a fraction of the price. So, without further ado, I wanted to go ahead and give a shout out to Ataco Ninja. He, uh, I told him I would do this video. Uh, this one's going out to him. So, shout out buddy. Thank you for giving me inspiration to do another video because I didn't know if I wanted to do this, but um, this is the HyperX, HyperX Cloud 1. There's two of them. Uh, the new one just came out. The only difference that I know of between this one and that one is on PC, the other one is capable of uh, a 7.1 or 5.1, I believe, and it has a memory foam headband. This does not. It just has leather, which is still pretty comfortable could use a little bit more padding that would probably be the only criticism I have on this headset so we'll get right into it first things off the bat how comfortable is this headset and this rivals the A50s for me uh, it came with these leather ones uh, they're almost real leather they're really good quality but it kinda got that your my ears would heat up a lot uh, when I was wearing those since it's summertime now almost and the weather's getting warm those weren't uh, as comfy but it also came with velour headset, and these that you see, they're they're like lint freaking attractors, but they're so freaking comfortable. And I have a really big head, and I wear glasses too, so you know comfortableness is huge for me on a headset. And these are awesome, man. I never found anything that matched the Astros until now. So comfiness, I'd say nine out of ten. The only criticism I have is that headband it could be a little bit more comfy, but maybe I'm just picky. The other thing, let's talk about mic quality. Amazing. Uh, my my friend said by far this sounds even be way better, actually, they said, than the Turtle Beach 500Xs. And uh, it's a pretty damn good microphone. I, I, I've uh, listened to it myself. It's really good. Uh, crystal clear, no issues. Now let's talk. Sound so we'll give that we'll give the we'll give the mic a ten out of ten. There's no problems with it. If there's no problems, if I don't have any problems with something, I'm gonna give it a perfect score. So, um, let's talk about the actual quality of the sound. Now, I'm an Xbox One user. I don't know how it works on PlayStation Four. Uh, these are wired, by the way. That might be a turnoff for some people. This is about how long the wire is here. It's pretty damn long, and it comes with a splitter. You see that splitter there? Comes with a splitter that you then plug into the Xbox One, uh, the uh, adapter there, the uh, chat adapter. So you have to buy that separate. Uh, that and this this uh, three point five millimeter jack uh, plugs right into it, and works great. Um, the sound. The one thing I love about the stereo headset adapter for the Xbox One is how easy it is to switch uh, the levels of sound from chat and game you use those two and it's it's such such a big difference because the a50s i had a lot of trouble balancing well the sound sometimes my friends would be loud and i you know then the game would be way too loud where i couldn't even hear my friends you know and vice versa this is just a perfect mix i love being able to use this thing that's the one good thing about this uh adapter there um the sound is amazing I actually keep it on the lowest setting, and I hear great because I, I like to listen. To my, if I'm not playing with my friends, though, and I'm just by myself, I turn it up, and boy, can, you, can this thing just the, the mids and highs uh, of, of, of the sounds in this on this headset are awesome, dude. Uh, in Call of Duty, you hear explosions. They sound powerful. The bass is good. Everything is crystal clear, and the thing I noticed most about it, which I didn't notice in other 
this is a stereo headset, so it's not surround sound. But with those surround sound headsets, it kind of sounds like they distort. With this, it's crystal clear. And music in video games is what's really clear on these headsets that was not clear before. When you're at the main menu and you hear the music, it's crystal clear. It sounds awesome. You can, I heard all these other sounds I've never heard before in games that I play uh, as far as songs and stuff. So for music, these are awesome. I would recommend if you want to use these multi-purpose, use them for music too. It comes with the little, uh, I believe it comes with an uh, adapter to be able to plug in to your uh, your phones and stuff. Well, I think the 3.5, let's see. The 3.5 should be able to plug right into, a, I believe, a, uh, what's it called? A mobile device. Yeah, plugs right into tablets, phones, all that stuff. Works awesome. So. Let's see what comes. What's in the What's in the box? Uh, we'll see what's in the box. So, like I said, it came with those, these ear cups and then these ones. I recommend these ones. They're really comfortable. It also came with. Wait for it. Wait for it. Um, this is like a. Uh, it's really smooth. It's really nice. And look, it says Hyper. Well, Hyper X. Um, it's like you know a little master volume and mute button and all that. Now with the Xbox One, it doesn't work. You don't. Don't plug the, if you're getting this for the Xbox One, do not plug this in with the uh, headset and it into the adapter. If you're not going to use the chat adapter and you're not going to talk to friends, you could you could use that fine. Um, well, actually, you, you need to plug it in anyways to get your sound. You need to, it goes off the battery of the controller, so um, you don't want to use this when you're plugging it directly into the adapter like I said you just want to have the cord and then the the splitter right there to turn into 3.5 millimeter that's it don't do anything else uh, you could probably plug these in the back of a TV or something or a monitor uh, to get your sound if you didn't want to plug it into the Xbox one but uh, controller but since I have that adapter we did that so the sound we're gonna say uh, by the way I give a solid 9 out of 10 um, just because it's not surround sound, but I knew what I was paying for anyways. Now, the cool thing is you can turn it into surround sound if you buy the little mix amp from Astro or whatever kind of mix amp you want to buy. You buy a mix amp, boom, those turn into Dolby, Dolby surround sound headsets, which I'm probably going to do down the road because they're so cheap, but we'll get to that because that's the best part. So besides that, um, there's really nothing else. There's just the cords, an extent, extension cord, and this thing. I, I think this is a, a, they call it airplane adapter, I think. I think so. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I would never use this. So, like I said, I'm not an audio junkie. Really cool thing is, look, it comes with this little travel bag. Wee it's nice. You know, it's nice to have just a little sack, little sack right there for you. Uh, it's nice. I like it. It's cool. It doesn't have to come with that. So, it's nice. Now, the best part, the all-around best part of these headsets, seventy bucks. You can't freaking beat that. The quality that are in these headsets, I can't preach it enough. I know people probably never heard of this brand, but do your research. Look up the reviews on Amazon. It's got like a four and a half star rating out of like 1,200 reviews. That's why I bought it. I read a bunch of reviews. I did a lot of research. And this thing kept coming up as some of the best headsets for Xbox One. And I absolutely agree. I'm actually going to go out on a limb and say it is the best headset on Xbox One for your money. For your money, they don't sacrifice nothing. Uh, comfiness, sound, uh, durability. It, f it doesn't feel like a cheap headset like some of the Turtle Beaches do. Um, it's awesome, man. I love it. The only negative is it's not wireless for those who, who want wireless, but I knew what I was signing up for. I knew it wasn't a surround sound. I knew it was stereo, but the stereo sound is so good that I don't care if it's not surround. It sounds better than the fucking Turtle Beach is already to me. So uh, I'm going to give this headset a solid 9 out of 10 and highly recommend it. The Astros, I'd give a 7. Um, if I was factoring in the customer support of Astro, I'd probably give it a 4. Because their customer support is awful. And the Turtle Beach is, I'm going to give a 7.5 to an 8. They're they're solid, the 500 Xs. But for this, for that price, you guys cannot beat that. I cannot recommend it enough. It's the HyperCloud X. If you want the HyperCloud X2, um, if you're going to use it for PC gaming and you want that surround sound, I think they're 100 bucks. So they're both under 100, uh, I believe. I think it's like 90 or 99 for the, the Part 2 of, of the headset. And I believe it comes with the other ear cups and all that as well. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys please could give me a thumbs up, a like, uh, a subscribe, 
uh, tell all your friends about us. Please get us out there. We're, we're working hard to bring you guys good content if you enjoyed that video. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm probably going to make a couple. Uh, I'm working on a funny video uh, pretty soon in Far Cry. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Batman out.